Hi, good people. It's Amy from Savor Salvage Scent. Hope this finds you well. For those of you new to the channel, this mostly focuses on all things fragrance or perfume related, but with occasional other DIY or creative projects. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for being here. Um, today, I wanted to share with you two videos focused on things that I'm either really enjoying or and or gifting this holiday season. Um, and this first video is gonna focus on things that are perfumes or fragrances. So first, I want to thank Dossier for helping to support this video. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Dossier, they are an impressions house. They are located and create, I believe, their perfumes out of France. Um, I have just been really impressed with their products. Not everybody loves inspiration houses. And through this video, I have a variety of things to um, talk to you about and offer. I'm starting with uh, Dossier. I've worked with them over the years and have been blown away, frankly. First, I'll just say I would never recommend or talk about something unless I was absolutely head over heels in love with it. And that is what has happened with these scents. <laughs> Offered to um, send me a few just to test years ago. And I have been amazed. I continue to say that uh, their impression of Tom Ford's Back of a Knee is the scent that is most complimented in my life. Like every time I wear it, it is, it's almost funny. I mean, multiple, multiple people will tell me, oh my gosh, you smell so good, what are you wearing? So I'm gonna kick this video off talking about Two Cents by Dossier. Another thing I'll mention for the for those of you who find this important, I think it's wonderful. They are scents that are also vegan and cruelty-free and their scents range from around $29 to about, I think, $49.59. However, I'm gonna put a link below where you can enjoy my discount. And this is the time of year, if you're watching this during the winter holiday of 2022, this is the time of year where they have really especially good sales too. So I'm gonna to talk to you about two scents from Dossier. First is, um, this time I really tried to test scents against ones that I owned already, and especially if I was about to run out. One of the things I love about this uh, company is they do things that are so expensive that they're hard for me to afford. I do not find that they dupe like small, super small houses. So that is important to me too. This first one is Spicy Mimosa. This is an impression of Joe Malone's uh, Mimosa and Cardamom, which is one of my favorites. One of the things that I've been really impressed by is, and especially in this case, and I'm gonna spray this right now, I freaking love this thing. I actually tested this wrist to wrist where I put the um, dossier on one wrist and then I put my Joe Malone on my other. And, you know, I don't believe there's such thing as a perfect duplicate perfume. I think when somebody makes an impression, you're really lucky if it gets in the 90 to 95% kind of category. This to me is as close as it comes. There are some tiny, tiny differences. Ones that maybe the wearer would, would smell in the first few minutes. I don't think anyone else would know the difference ever. This smells as close as can be. And the thing that is incredibly impressive to me and the reason that I will be wearing this instead of reordering the Joe Malone version is this is much stronger. And this lasts like six to eight hours on me where the Joe Malone lasts probably three to four, something like that. So this is great and I absolutely love it. This is called Spicy Mimosa. And again, it is the impression of Joe Malone's Mimosa and Cardamom which is about four to five times the price. So just to give you an idea, love this thing. And I will show you quickly, they come in really nice boxes and the bottle also has a magnetic cap, which I really, really love. And then you open it up and it it has a card that tells you a lot more about the scent, wh what is it inspired by and the notes, et cetera, et cetera, a little bit about the company. So really, really great. And then the second for today, I'm going to share with you. This next one is called Woody Chestnut. And this is the the scent that is inspired by, by the fireplace by Maison Martin Margiela. Gosh, I can never say that. Maybe I'm not even saying it correctly now, but we all probably know the house. This is another one where I love that scent. You have to really like smoky marshmallow, which is something I really love. Um, I have both. In fact, I was about to run out of by the fireplace and this Woody Chestnut is phenomenal. This is another one. I got compliments on it the first day I wore it. It is super, super close to the original. Again, so much so that I don't think anybody else would ever know the difference walking by you, let's say. And again, I found this to um, perform really, really well. So incredibly impressed. Love this. Great gifts. And they have promotions. Not only can you use my discount below, but they also usually have promotions where if you buy more than one bottle, you get reduced prices on all of them. And 
free shipping, I believe, at a certain point. So really, really love my experience with this company, Dossier. So thank you, Dossier, so much for providing a few uh, perfumes for me to sample over the next few months. So next, I'm going to talk about some of the other favorites in my life as far as perfumes. Many of these are focused on small houses, but again, there's quite a range here. I should have said initially, there are scents here that range from under $10 to about 100 just to give you an idea. A, a house that I haven't talked enough about, and I wanna show you also how this was packaged because it's so beautiful. Now, we're only about a week before Christmas, so some of these, if you were to order today, some things will make it in time, some will be after the holiday, but again, you know, we have birthdays and, and holidays all through the year. I wanted to suggest this house, it's um, called La Romantica, so Aromatica with an L before. This is made, this is a company, a small indie house um, out of the US and the proprietor's name is Loretta Remsing and the artist. I believe she primarily sells through her site in Etsy right now. Um, I cannot remember how I learned about this house years ago. I had heard that they made a scent called coffee that was to kind of mimic the smell of Indian, the Indian dessert that's coffee, which, which is a milky, beautiful, spicy, gorgeous thing. Um, so I have that in the oil and the cream and it is gorgeous. I have a few other scents, including this one is called Hello Delicious and I have one called Brocade that are two beautiful florals. She does everything well, like the gourmand that I mentioned, but I think she does florals so beautifully. What I have here packaged because it is for moi is, um, I had been wanting this, uh, they weren't making it for a small amount of time or she ran out. This is called Nine Dragons and it's like what I would call a very beautiful, fresh kind of spring scent. I believe it has like, does it have tea in it? I can't remember, but it, I, all I know is I tested it and it was like, I was like, this is the perfect um, spring scent. And then it wasn't offered for a while. So I was so thrilled when I saw it on the site again. Um, her scents range, depending on if you're getting a smaller oil, a perfume, a cream, anywhere from I think 25 or 30 to about, I wanna say this ran me 60. And it looks like this again when it's out of the box. Really, really beautiful. I love her scents. I don't hear many people talking about it. I wish more people did. However, having said that, one of the things that's wonderful about the house is you're probably gonna be the only one in your office wearing it or in your set. So I feel like it's a really unique scent to wear. Um, okay, next, another, um, a lot of you will know if you've watched this channel, this has been my reigning favorite perfume for two years. This is called Desert Fleur. This is by a company called Bohemian Rev. Um, they sell, I learned about this scent through Anthropology initially. They have their own site as well. Anthropology typically runs a sale this time of year or promotions where there's 25% off. I think this retails for about 50 right now. And so you can find this very affordably, especially on sale. If you go in, into the website, I believe the first time you order, you can get like, I think it's a 15 or a 20% discount. So either way, this is an incredible scent for the price. Uh, what is it you might ask? It is Oh my gosh. And by the way, they they offer a couple other scents I haven't tried yet that I'd like to. I believe these are kind of like botanical scents that are made with um, organic kind of things. This is essentially vanilla, patchouli. And I think, even though it's not a note, it has a bit of a boozy lean. This is to me my perfect patchouli. It starts a little dry. I think patchouli often has like what I call paper bag effect. It smells almost like paper bags to me when you first spray it, which you think, huh. Within minutes, this gets this boozy, this um, veil around you and it smells vanillic, patchouli, warm, earthy, gorgeous. I mean, the last time I wore this, one of my colleagues literally was like, can I hug you? Um, what are you wearing? I always get asked what I'm wearing when I wear this. And it's funny because people will be like, what is it? I tell them. And then they're like, patchouli. A lot of people have a, they don't, people seem to love or hate patchouli. This to me, I think is a gateway drug <laughs> into patchouli. It's just gorgeous. This is my second bottle. And I also have, they have products now scented like it. Um, this is the oil. And so I basically like cover myself in this. It's so gorgeous. So again, Desert Floor by Bohemian Rev. Okay. I will talk about my favorite indie house, Solstice Sense. Solstice Sense is great because first of all, again, my favorite house, they make 
tremendous things. Proprietor and artist Angela St. John and her partner are just amazing. They're out of Florida and I love that they make atmospheric scents that are like based around this fictitious town. And it's so beautiful. All their marketing that I believe is hand drawn um, by uh, Angela's life partner. It's all around this fictitious town. And so things will literally smell like a person or a place that they've described. And they're spot on. I mean, for instance, they have a scent called Library that to me smells exactly like old books and maybe you're having a little tea or coffee and the wood of the library. It is gorgeous. And I love their, they're really, I think, well known for their gourmands. Um, I honestly think whatever they do, they do well, but there's a little something for everybody. And one of the things that I love is if you're first getting into them, you can order a sample set. I wanted to talk about this because they're very affordable. You can order five decants or 10. And I think that ranges from 20 some to like 30 some. And it comes in this beautiful booklet. It kind of reminds me of a CD case for those of you who are old enough. And this, in this case, this is one where I think I had 10 and then I ordered in a couple extra or something. Um, but you can try a lot of things to see what you like. This is a great thing for a perfume lover or somebody who's just starting to kind of build their perfume collection because they can really test what they like. You'll go into their website and notice there are so many amazing scents. They just did their holiday or their, sorry, their winter releases. Um, they are a small batch company. And so if you look through their catalog, Maybe only 50% will be available, but each season they'll release certain scents from their catalog. And so again, you can start at a really, um, I think, budget-friendly price point to test things. And then depending on what you order then, they have five milliliter perfumes that run, they typically are oils, they run anywhere from about 17 to 20. And then um, two ounce uh, spray perfumes run anywhere from about 80 to 100. Typically, they also have things like glissades, which is like a mist oil. They also have um, soaps that you can use, like a um, cream soap that you can use in the shower, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Just wonderful company. This is one of my new favorites. It's called Lavender Vanilla. This is incredible. It's one of my favorite vanillas I, or lavenders too. I can't get enough of it. I just spray it all the time. It changes during the course of the day in a really beautiful way. It starts out very sweet to me and then it gets a little earthier. Both I enjoy a lot and so I just can't say enough about this house. One of the great things especially if you're gifting it is they do such a beautiful thoughtful job of packaging and um, it just comes with a beautiful, usually a thank you card, and it's really impressive. So wonderful to give as a gift. And they take great care of their customers, I will say. So Solstice says. Another uh, house I don't talk enough about, and I need to actually um, purchase some other bottles, but I'm so into this one. This is Eris Parfum. Some of you will be um, familiar with this house. Um, Persilays, who's one of my favorite content providers, talks about Arisa Fairmount. Barbara Herman, some of you will know, so there are two creators of this house. Barbara Herman, the proprietor, she had a vlog, I believe it was called Yesterday's Perfumes, and it is um, one of my favorite resources for perfume knowledge, especially around vintage perfumes. Um, she co-creates with the nose Antoine Lee, and he has just done incredible things. I'm sure some of you will know them. The name of this house, is based on the, I think it's like goddess of troublemaking, but this is my favorite from the house. It's called Night Flower. It is so gorgeous. It's like a seductive, spicy, heady floral. And I just read recently that Dita Von Teese wears it. And I was like, yeah, totally makes sense. Another favorite scent that my friend Lynn turned me on to is called Green Spell. And it is one of my favorite green perfumes. That will be my next purchase. Honestly, none of their perfumes that I've tried did I not love. Like they're wonderful. They have a beautiful orange flower um, focused perfume. These are a little of an investment for me. These uh, range, I think from about 80 to about 150, something like that, but such a great quality. So worth every penny if you wanna splurge. So Arise Parfums, in this case, Night Flower, gorgeous. And again, Barbara, I can't say enough about her writing about perfume is fantastic, um, really inspirational. Okay, and so now I'm gonna talk about a, um, a few others that I find to be really, really generous for the price point. This is a house that I don't think I've ever heard anybody else talk about. 
when I go to France, uh, one of the things I love to do is to go to French pharmacies. They have incredibly wonderful, not only like um, beauty products, but they often have incredible perfumes. Sometimes they will be perfumes that are famous throughout France, things like Roger Galet. And then sometimes local makers will even provide perfumes in pharmacies, local pharmacies. This is something I found in the French pharmacy. And then thank goodness, um, within a few years in the US, they started to sell on a website that now provides to the US. These products are, I cannot believe how inexpensive they are for how wonderful they are. This house is called Panier de Saint. So essentially like basket of the senses or like cart of the senses. Um, and as you can see, one of the things that's so great is they come so beautifully packaged. So this is their, uh, this is one of their eau de toilettes. This is their Fleur de Angers scent. So their orange flower, orange blossom scent. And um, this is what the box looks like. And then you open it and this is what the scent looks like. Beautiful glass bottle with a wooden top. Um, and this is again, their orange flower scent. This retails for only about, I think it's $36. And during this time of year, a few times throughout the year, if you sign up on their website, they have great sales. I'm pretty sure I paid, I think I got this 25% off. So I bought one of these when I was in France a couple years ago, wore it like crazy. My best friend, uh, Sarah, loves everything orange flower. So I brought this back for her, she loves it. And then they started to also make um, complimentary products. And I love orange flower, but they have like six or eight senses, I would say, or scents. They have um, geranium, uh, you know, the lavender, et cetera. But they're, they're, to me, like a little more complex than just buying a solo floor or a solo note. They're really beautiful. And this is the, this is the um, complimenting uh, cream. And again, I think on sale, these are all 25% off. In my next video where I talk about non-perfumed items, um, or at least things that aren't just perfumes, I'm gonna talk about their candles and some other their other products, but highly suggest, I think this would be impressive for a perfume lover because I don't know anybody else that's wearing it or talking about it. And I hope they get a lot more exposure because the scents are fantastic. Also, I will say, if you are in Paris and can find their shop, I was treated like a million bucks in there. Like they just have wonderful things and they were so very nice. So Panier de Saint, in this case, this is their Flor de Angers, their um, cream and their Eau de Toilette, both fantastic. Um, another thing I will just mention is, again, for those of you who don't know, I am a budget shopper because I came from a family where we didn't have a ton of money growing up. And yeah, I just want to expand my exposure. And so I try to find sales and things when I can. Um, something that's very affordable to, to consider for a perfume lover or buying sample sets. So this is one that's offered by Replica. I can't remember how much this is. I think I, this was gifted to me, but I think the last time I looked, it ranged from 20 to like 30, depending on if it was on sale or not. But this has, um, let's see, I think 10 different scents that you can try. So what a great thing to be able to, I love this house try a bunch of things and see which one is really for you or to gift to somebody who's just getting into perfume. That's a great idea. And then look for sales, look for, you know, one of my favorite things to do is I'm a big lover of, it sounds like TJ Maxx, haha, <laughs> it is TJ Maxx. Um, I, you can find incredible perfume steals there. For instance, this is my favorite Toka perfume. This is Cleopatra. Usually it only comes in small bottles, which are also wonderful, but I've burned through a few of these bottles in my life. This is one of my favorite florals. It is a floral with a bit of melon, but it also dries down to be this sophisticated, almost gourmand, just beautiful thing. When I wear it, people are just like, you smell so good. It's so pretty. Comes in these beautiful boxes. This line is based on the story of, I believe, women in history. This is Cleopatra. But I wanted to show, um, first of all, the bottle is so beautiful. Um, there we are. And then when you open the box, it says, love yourself. And I was like, what a gorgeous presentation. I wanted to point this out because I recently got this at TJ Maxx. Um, I think this retails for over a hundred now. And I got this for $29. There's an example, like very to me affordable price point. 
um, where a hundred would not be a win for me, you know, so I encourage you to do some searching that way. And then for those who are really either watching their pennies or um, just really want to enjoy more or gift somebody with more, um, I know there's quite an array here and I know that Bath and Body Works is not for everybody. I love Bath and Body Works because you can you can expand your nose to try different scents that again are at a really affordable price point. They're also great for people who are just starting perfume because some of them tend to be lighter scents, not so heavy. Um, and I'll just say, again, if you watch their sales, or in my case, I also have an outlet near me. Not kidding, when they have their best sales, or if you go to the outlet, you can literally pay around three to four dollars for a spray. And so one of the things I like to do for people who either I know love Bath and Bath, Body Works, or just starting out, getting into perfume, is buy like two or three in a set, you'll spend probably 10, 12 dollars tops if they're on sale. And you can have a really nice array of things. Same with me, like, even though I have an extensive perfume uh, collection, I love to have a handful of sprays because, again, it just, I can either layer with them or test different notes, wonderful stuff. So I'm gonna talk to you about four I'm loving right now. Um, one is Midnight Amber Glow. This is um, as much about gourmands, like coffee and such, as it is about amber. It's even got to me a bit of a smokiness. I find that this could be absolutely unisex. I'm a big believer that you should wear what you like no matter your gender or who it's marketed to, but I think this is like perfectly in the middle. This would appeal to just about anybody. Um, I think smells way more expensive than it is. Midnight Amber Glow. Next is an old favorite. I try to talk about only ones that are being made by Bath & Body Works now. This is Forever Red. Um, this is one that like at first sniff, I was kind of like, eh, in the shop. And then once it wore on my skin, I was like, what am I smelling that's familiar? And then I was reading one day about scents that smell like licorice and somebody said, oh, this smells like red licorice. It smells like Swedish fish to be exact. And man, is that spot on. You get the powdered sugar a little bit. I think Swedish fish do have a tiny bit of a perfumey scent. And then that gorgeous like red candy concoction. That is to me what Forever Red smells like. So fun, so good, yum. Next is, there are two, these are two that are out, I believe just recently for the holidays. Um, one is called Ice Sugar Plum. See, people seem, who are into Bath and Body Works seem to be on the fence about this. I think partly because it, harkens back a bit to a scent that again people were polarized by that was um a boardwalk scent so this smells gourmand like you know funnel cakes and things that you would get on a boardwalk but i can pull out the plum some people say that they can't so to me this smells like a donut it smells like a uh, fruit filled donut delicious powdery sweet and this one lasts on me like four or five hours, which is great for a body spray. I layer it with the cream, but phenomenal. And then last, this one literally just came out. It's called Sapphire Moon. I'm gonna spray this just so I can remind myself why I like it so much, because this is the one, I went into the shop recently and I sprayed a bunch of their scents, but this is the one that I was like, wow. So this is very fruity, but it's got a muskiness too. And what stands out for me, honestly, for Bath & Body Works is this smells really adult to me. It smells like a more expensive perfume. So it is fruity where a lot of their scents are, but this to me has a little crack of the whip at the end. It's a little more interesting, it has a little musk. It's beautiful. It smells a little aquatic to me too, gorgeous. Um, so those are some of my suggestions for what I'm wearing, loving, and gifting this year. I would love to hear from you as far as what scents you might be either craving or have on your, your hopeful list or that you might be giving to people. Um, and next, in my next video, I will talk about things outside of perfumes that I'm loving and gifting. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks again to Dossier. Cheers. Bye-bye.